for five and five in his last ten. Five to one Sox, Carlos Lee. You gotta call it. You gotta call it. You gotta watch it. Sometimes those balls explode. Charles Johnson. Durham will score. Seven one Sox. Luis Matos. Here's how you play defense, people. Chris Singleton in there, full extension, makes the great diving stab. They get three ribs from Meglo Ordonez, and the Sox win at 8-4. Nice example of how to lose baseball games. Well, the Sox, the closest pursuers, A's at the Jake. Indians down 3-0. Tim Hudson, Jim Tomey, Jim Tomey. Career hit number 9-9-9 is his 31st homer of the season. Puts him second all-time on the Indians' home run list. Next batter, David Segui. And Hudson gets it high and tight and knocks Segui down. He dusts himself off, but it's not forgotten because first pitch top six, Bartolo Colon throws it Ben Grieve, and then just to make sure he knows what's going on, he lofts one over Grieve's head, and then the benches come out and decide maybe they want to talk or maybe they want to dance, but cooler heads would eventually prevail. Back to baseball, top five, same score, two on, two out, Adam Pyatt and Robbie Alomar. One of these days we'll get tired of seeing him play defense, it's just not this day. Cologne pitching to Ramon Hernandez, top six, he's up 5-3. Spot shadow the left knee after the pitch have to leave the teller tendonitis he is day to day Cologne's replacement Paul Shuey in some trouble two on two out Miguel Tejada delivers it's going to rattle around the left field corner two runs will score tied at five Tommy on base Segui facing Hudson again and Segui rips one down the right field line talking with his bat this time stairs Frank Mankino the relay Tome in there safe. Segui is psyched. The Indians retake the lead and win it 7 to 5. The Tribe wins it 6 straight to go game and a half up on Oakland in the wild card. Clean film broke out between the Mariners and the Tigers. Runner on first for Edgar Martinez. And Edgar calls time. Plate. And he Edgar says Martinez. to the, well, he says, stop bugging me. Why? Ah, yeah, it's boy, attacking the flying ants the all over the stadium. The fans the going for cover. We were headed to Major League Baseball's first bug out in the first inning. Juan Gonzalez can't take it. The game was never delayed. Oh, meanwhile, the game. Nomo gets down Martinez on strikes to end the inning. Bottom one, the ants come marching one by one. Hurrah, hurrah. Oh, the Tigers' pen builds a campfire and toasts marshmallows. Oh, that, they try to get rid of the ants that way, too. Meanwhile, Edgar Martinez is simply next level. A career-high 30 home runs for Edgar, 121 RBIs, Mariners up 3 to nothing. As for the Tigers' bullpen, uh, well, the fire didn't work, and the Ants basically left, and they gave up on the home team, and that was a mistake by the Ants. Bobby Higginson against Arthur Rhodes. Higginson, the single past the draw in an infield. Juan Encarnacion, who had a two-run triple, would come in to score. But the story, besides the victory by the Tigers, was the bugs, said Bobby. One zip devil race, gonna add to it. Tyner, whoops, bunt, not the best. Ron Coomer, stop, drop, roll, put out. D race, still it. One zip. Bottom eight, twins up 4 2, bases chucked. Danny Ardwan against Doug Creek. Ardwan, Arso, yeah, double into the left corner. Coomer, Jason Maxwell, Torrey Hunter all score, cleans them up. It's a solid wrap. The Twins go up 7-2, and they win it by a count of 8-2. Redmond, five hits, two runs, seven innings. He leads the rookie class of AL pitchers and wins. On Tuesday, bottom four, one zip Giants. J.T. Snow, a grounder, the fish. Throw to second, going to try and get the double play, but Chuck Smith, where's the bag? Yeah. It was like 89 feet, and they're 90 feet between them. Snow is safe. It's going to be costly. Ellis Burks. Ellis, Ellis Burks. It's costly, all right. His 20th homer of the season is fifth in six games. He's nine for 19 with 13 ribs during the stretch. The Giants go up three zip. LeVon Hernandez in trouble in the eighth, but Preston Wilson fans. 160th K. Hernandez out of the jam. Bottom eight, still four nothing. Barry Bonds. Big hitter, Barry Bonds. Long. 38th of the year. The Giants lead it by a count of five nothing. Hernandez into the top of the ninth facing Derek Lee. Derek Lee, that'd be a home run if they were playing in a silo, but they were Pac Bell. Ellis Burks charging and makes the great adjustment and the catch. Giants win 5 0, improved to 43 and 20 at their new ballpark. The Gents now two and a half up in the West. Hernandez, who had never thrown a shutout in 104 major league starts before last week, pitches his second straight. It's their Kurt Schilling life jacket into the pennant race. Waters top four. Jeff Jenkins off Schilling. He hits that really far. Marquise Grissom was running the whole way. So a Jenkins stops at second. Grissom in under the tag. Score tied at one. Two batters later. Same score. Jeremy Burnett's 
off Schilling. Looks like it's going to go foul and out of play, but Luis Gonzalez not giving up on the ball and makes the catch at the bullpen of the Diamondbacks. Jenkins tags and scores. We look at it again. Low go, get it. Nicely done. Next batter, Charlie Hayes. Lines one to center. That gets down quickly. Jenkins scores. Richie Sexton will score. 3-1 Brewers. Top eight, Brewers lead at 5-4, one on, one out, and Richie Sexton. If he was in the sausage race, he would be the knock worst. Off Young, Young Kim, his eighth homer is a Brewer. 23 ribs, Kim not happy. The Brewers lead at 7-4, win at 8-5. Sexton now has homered in three straight games. Simply put, he is the Jeff D'Amico of the hitters. The Expos, Brown facing Peter Bergeron and doing nicely against Peter. Top five. Brown facing Fernando Seganal, not on two out, striking him out. Showing his frustration, he pounds his bat against the ground. Does Seganal, Kevin Brown, at bat leading off. Uh-oh, bunts and it hits his hand. He's awarded first. Felipe Alou not thrilled with that call. The trainer looks at Brown's hand, it's fine. Same inning, Sean Green. Green is only hit of the game, he's hitting 277. Dodgers up 4-0. Green's 89th RBI of the year. Kevin Brown, meanwhile, headed back to the clubhouse to get checked out. You don't want to mess around with that hand. Wilton Guerrero batting, 5-0 Dodgers. Guerrero, that'll end the inning. Kevin Brown perfect through six innings. Top seven, Brown facing Peter Bergeron. You saw him at the top of the highlight, if you recall. Bergeron gets revenge. There goes the perfect game off the glove of Adrian Beltre. Dodgers win, 5-1. Kevin Brown's final line read, seven innings, four hits, one run. The game with a tight hamstring. Bottom first, two out, man on first, Carl Everett delivers off Ramon Ortiz. Ball takes a low bounce and is moist out there. Brian Dahlbeck going to score. Garrett Anderson, definitely no relation, charged with his fourth error of the season. Sox take the one zip lead. Bottom third, two out, men on the corners for the Sox. Troy O'Leary delivers this time. Dahlbach will score, and Salmon, too, having trouble with the wet baseball. He's charged with an error. It's tough to pick up when that thing's wet. Sox up 3-0. Top four, Anaheim down 3-0. Tomo Oka against Mo Vaughn. He knows how to hit in Fenway. Mo Vaughn, one of three Angels with 30-plus homers. Another one coming. The Angels down 3-1. Bottom eight. Bases chucked with the Angels. Two out, though. Rich Garces against Adam Kennedy. Adam Kennedy, no match for Rich Garces. Fly ball. Mike Lansing is there to get out of the inning in the Red Sox. Hang on to win it by a count of three to one. The Red Sox win for the tenth time in 14 games to remain. Not as easy as you would think. Blake Stein, Shannon Stewart with two on. Mike Sweeney, great catch. Sweeney also had two hits. Take another look just in case you stepped away to pour some milk on your cereal. Awesome play. Bottom seven, still 8-3 Royals. Chris Wilson facing, oh, do we dare say, Carlos Delgado. Opposite way. Is there any doubt? Number 37 for Delgado. Jays within four, 8-4. to four. Same inning, it was 8-6. Two on, two out, Alex Gonzalez against Andy Larkin. Into the gap, Mickey Morandini and Stewart would score to tie up this game at eight. Gonzo three for five with a career high five RBIs. And then Delgado again. The fifth time this season he has had two home runs in a game, the 38th home run of the year. Put the Jays up nine to eight. And then top of the ninth, big moment, big situation, and the Jays come through. Greg Zahn, all he does is that. The comeback victory for Toronto for Delgado. This was the fifth time this season. He stroked two homers in one game, and that, folks, is always worth repeating. After six, no decision in this one. Top eight, seven, four. Mike Stanton well, facing here. Ricky Lede with two on. Cool. Yeah, hey, didn't choose to work it here. Three-run shot. We're tied at seven. Bottom eight now, nine, seven Rangers. John Stretch Wetland, he's up, he's loose, he's ready to go. But Johnny Oates decides to stay with Darwin Cobian, Jorge Posada makes him pay. Jorge, four Ks Tuesday, bounces back three for four, five ribs, ties it up at nine, and Wetlands is still here. Top nine men on first. Gabe Kapler, Jose Vizcayano, nice pick. Fielding will save runs, four, six, three, double play. It also killed up the inning. Bottom nine out, runners on first and second. Jose Canseco with nobody out. We're talking about defense, we're talking about double plays. Mike Lamb thinks he's going to get himself one, ignores the lead runner. Canseco legs this thing out, so you got Luis Polonia over on third, and the pitcher, Tim Crabtree, says, I would like you to get the lead runner, please. Next batter, Tino Martinez, facing the new pitcher, Mike Venifro, and Tino right down the line. Frank Catalanato can't get it. Polonia scores the winning run. 
But wait, Catalanato not happy with the umpire's call. You can argue with an ump, but it's like arguing with a compass and never change your mind. Catalanato might have been on the line, might have been fouled, doesn't matter. Ricky Lede and his new teammates go down 10-9. New York wins despite stranding 14 runners in the first eight innings and giving up the lead. The Yanks' pen blows a potential Roger Clemens win for the... Nevin. Lighter. Struck out 12 in this game. The second time in three starts, he did that. We're tied at one. Top of the fifth. Tied at one. Padres doing it with defense. Just ask Lenny Harris. Harris would be robbed by Eric Owens. Harris still can't believe it at this moment when he's watching this highlight for the 15th time. Robin Ventura into the gap. Ruben Rivera. Awesome play. Ventura stunned, but he's over it. We're still tied. Top of the sixth same score. We have the bags full. We have Mike Bordick up. And he's hit by the pitch by Matt Clement. Mike Piazza would score to put the Mets up 2-1. to one. Your next batter? The ace of the Mets staff. Well, Larry Al Leiter tries the bunt. The throw home by Clement for the force. Gonzalez defers. Oh, the throw gets away. Benny Agbayani would score. Mets up 3-1. to one. Matt Clement, by the way, was trying to become the first pitcher this season to beat the Mets three straight times. He failed. Leiter, 4-1 in his last six starts. And coming in, Helton, 438 lifetime hitter against Greg Maddox, and Maddox is a trophy case of gold gloves. Awesome play. Top six, one nothing Braves, two on for Brian Jordan. And Jordan, master batter. Taking Brian Rose deep, a three-run home run for Jordan. His 16th of the year, Braves up four zip. Same score, bottom six. Jeff Cirillo at the plate. Looks focused. Grounder. Raphael for Cal. Styling. What a play. From the grass yet. He made up for going two for 30 on a six-game road trip. Furkel, grounder, Helton, diving play just like his idol Mark Grace would make. Check it out again. Awesome play by the man flirting with 400. Bottom eight, five, two Braves. Back to Helton at the plate. He said he knows he isn't going to get a hit every game for the rest of the season. He's over that. Helton went 0 for 4. Braves win. As for Maddox, 4-0 and in five career starts at Coors Field. His 10 wins against the Rockies. Ken Griffey Jr. and Reds Hall of Fame broadcaster Marty Brenneman are having words, and most of them I can't say on TV. Sunday, Brenneman ripped Griffey on the air after Jr. jogged to first, spoiling a shot at a possible double. Tuesday, Griffey confronted Brenneman, telling him his hamstring had been bothering him lately. That was the G-rated version. In the end, Brenneman said to Griffey the criticisms would continue if need be. He also told Griffey, quote, I was here before you were here, and I will be here after you're gone. Okay, then. The Cincy bottom three, no score, Juan Castro. Two on, two out, Castro, grounder off for Robert Person. Thomas Perez boots it off his hip into center. Scott Williamson would come around to score on that bizarre play. Reds up one nothing. Ken Griffey Jr., 105 RBIs coming in. A chance to drive in two more, but not this time, and no worries about legging anything out. Griffey was 0 for 4, he's hitting 257. Bottom seven, tied at one, bases loaded, two out. So what do you do? You bring up Benito Santiago as a pinch hitter. That'd be a good decision. Dimitri Young and Barry Larkin would score on that base hit to put the Reds up 3-1. to one. Top of the eighth, though, we're tied at three runners on the corners for Perez. Off of Danny Graves, Rob Ducey running on contact. Smart play there, scores from third. Philadelphia would win. Reds all season long having trouble holding leads. Danny Graves with his fourth blown save and 25 chances. The easiest victory Chris Brock got. He retired the only batter he faced in the seventh. The Reds lose for the seventh time in nine games. We have news about Mark McGuire. That in a sec. Cardinals hosting the Pirates. That's a gorgeous shot of St. Louis and Bush Stadium. Jim Edmonds. Off of Todd Ritchie. Career high, 34th homer for Edmonds. Bottom four, Fernando Tatis facing Ritchie. You know, Tatis says he likes to feel free, if you know what he means. You can read all about him in ESPN in the magazine. Something about underwear. Meanwhile, Will Clark comes around to score in Tatis' double. Tatis, who also loves Bernini suits. The flip to Pat Mears gets kicked by Will Clark. Mears onto first. It's a double play. Bottom eight, three, two cards, Will Clark. And Will is so money, and he doesn't even know it. His fifth home run of the year. Cardinals go on to win 5-2. to two. Gene Lamont, you know who he was impressed with? St. Louis pitcher Rick Ankeel calling him probably the best young pitcher in baseball. Bottom one, one nothing Chicago. Ruben Cavedo facing Julio Lugo. Lugo drives it deep. Sammy Sosa. Excellent. 
Sosa is also hitting 312. He went two for five in this game. Check it out again. Sammy Sosa can play defense. Sosa says thanks, guys. Top five, nine nothing Cubs. Base is full for Mark Graves, just the way he likes it. Grace also two for five in this game, three RBI. He also scored two runs. That one clears the bases. Cubs would build a 12-0 lead against Houston. Bottom six, Cavedo pitching. Pinch hitter Chris Spires hitting. Chad Myers, great diving catch to Rob Spires. Cubs go on to a huge victory. What about Cavedo? He'll have just four hits in eight innings. Last week he got shelled by the Astros. The difference this time, he said, was his...